Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, I just would like to take you along with me. What we're gonna be doing is we're going to be packing our eBay um, sale. So this morning, sorry about that. It's just gonna go through because my sugar is high. Uh, I don't know why, but the story of my life, so. We're not going to stress out about it. We're just going to have not sponsored. Um, I've never tried this. But these are sugar-free. Sugar-free Mountain Dew Zero. Oh, tastes good. So, today we had some eBay, eBay sale. So, the first sale that we have is this nice... Um, beautiful piece right here and um, this was really a very heavy piece made in India it's a nice like um, brass um, vase so I had this for maybe a year now um, this has been in my first ever um, like like um vintage like um show or like the one that i got back in november maybe october it didn't sell it was offered on whatnot on one of my show it didn't sell and finally it found its way home through ebay so i'm letting this baby go for 13 dollars there's no profit in there, but if you have been following my channel, I'm basically like selling products or passing it along. That way I could get more products in because I do love it. And I contemplated on letting it go actually um, because I love the piece as you could see. Originally, I had intentions of like um, putting a point on it. It is heavy, so hopefully I did not mess up with the um, shipping costs on that because I will be paying for it. The next one is this piece right here. This is a griffin. These are one of my um, first eBay or no, um, what not um, buy. I, it was an impulse buy. It was, I spent so much money on this. I bought it with a lot of issues and a lot of repairs. As you can see, I probably spent $40 on this one, but I'm letting it go for $10 because it gave me a reminder of like, this is why you need to really be sure, but things happen. So I'm glad that somebody, um, somebody liked it. So I had it, I have, these are my first um, stuff that I offered on eBay. So um, the first things that I sold on eBay, this is it. And originally it was like 30 bucks or something like that. But I really can't look at this anymore. <laughs> Cause, but it, it is kind of cool. But when I got it, it wasn't worth what I paid for, which is whatever but somebody found it so i am not an expert on packing the the way that i learn is by opening packages that i actually have bought so let me show you guys how we're gonna do that we're gonna start off with this one first so the things that you need obviously you got packing tape i'm also gonna try to incorporate this um saran wrap and then scissors and then boxes so and then we also will have some bubble wrap of course and then some paper so um actually like i said let's start off with the brass so every time i try to pass because it had happened to me already. I try to be mindful to make sure that I consider um, that the items will be brought to 
or will reach to the buyer um, safely. So I think I want to put another piece in just to put it. In. Or you know what? I'm gonna fill it up. That way it, it has a it's it's pretty sturdy though, but mm, I'm just gonna fill it up real quick. So just because I don't wanna risk I don't wanna take that risk that be right back I need to get more stuffing paper so where do I get my my packing supplies from well I actually recycle the packing stuff that I got from when I'm opening packages and also um, fortunate enough I work at a hospital so I come alongside people in the hospital that come across packing um, materials that they discard, so they just hand it over to me, and that's what happens. So just, gonna, just because I don't, I don't really profit from it much. Sometimes I do, but most of the time, it's break even. Just because this is a hobby, um, maybe in the future I can have it as like an actual business. Well, I call it a business now, but really there's no profit. So, this method of like wrapping right here was inspired by... Two broke sister vintage um, I'm going to link their description box below and I'm going to link description boxes of people that actually inspired me to do or how to pack and that's because of how um, of what they they do when I um, Received their goodies, sorry. Alright. Okay, so that's one. So, just kind of like want to secure that. Okay, so that's secure. And then, we're not done yet. I want to wrap it in a... Um, bubble wrap because even though it's brass I don't want it to ding I already got it like it's it has some ding to it but we don't gotta enhance those things so I'm just gonna do this and the same concept I'm just gonna use this so my goal when I am packaging is because even though this is a resale and it's more like a hobby and not a business it reflects on me so I try my best to make sure that it looks presentable and not like you put trash on it because <laughs> I have received packages that look like that and it's um, it's a little bit disappointing because I know you don't pay much on shipping with these sites but you still paid so and then, sorry um So, ah, 
I could have used this, I guess. Um, this one, it didn't recycle. It wasn't given to me. I bought it, obviously. All right, so now we have this, but we're gonna put it in a box. So, boxes are weird. So, the way that I do it is that I put the item inside the box and then it goes to another box. So again, I know this is brass and it's kind of sturdy, but I want to be able to um, to package it in such a way that um, my buyer will actually enjoy it. So I'll be right back. I need to find a box. Okay, so the inbox. So I'm just gonna see if this fits. It's not a very sturdy thing, but when I put it in here, it would not have an opportunity to let okay, So my video died. So we put it in here and that's what it looks like. So again, I'm gonna stuff it with more paper. So. And again, just because I don't want it moving around. Because when they move, then that's what happens. They get damaged. So, in my opinion though, who knows? Like I said, I'm not an expert. So that's good. See? Okay. So now we're going to find another box to put the box. So let's see if it would fit right here. Perfect example. I'm actually re-gifting this or re-gifting, reusing. It's too big, so I'll be right back. Let's see if we can fit this one in here. Perfect, so this is what you want. Sorry guys, all right. See? So now all I got to do is um, secure this in such a way that it is not going to, um, what do you call this? It's not going to jiggle. Because if it did, then, then um, it would move the product. So that's, I think, what causes it. Because, you know, when they're handling it, they're not going to be careful. Because the point is like just to like get it to and from. So, I don't have to do much just the side. So, um, what I like to do is put like filler. So, let me go get some. Okay, you guys. So, these are the fillers that I have. And these are from the office. So, I'm just going to... Fill this one up with the fillers that way they don't move. You can also put the paper, but a little bit more. So this is pretty much all done. Another thing that I like to do that I forgot to show you is that I like to put like a um, like tissue paper. This is too small. I have some right here. So I pretty much get this to the, at the dollar store. Um, and then the reason why I do that, it doesn't look like, um, it doesn't look like a piece of, like, crap. It just adds 
a little bit of a presentation to it. So I just tuck it in. But of course, I also do a little bit of like a thank you card. And I like doing the thank you card for my um, buyers because I really thank them that it, it, it feels good that somebody likes what I like. So um, because we're all eat, not the same, I'm not for everybody. So inside the card, I actually do a little bit of like a thank you. So sometimes I, um, sometimes I like um, add like how I got that from and all that good stuff. But for the most part, I just sincerely thank them for their support in my shop. And then I want to make, I'm hoping that this one is something that they get to enjoy and that it arrives to them safely. I also um, took the courage of asking them if I could um, get their opinion by leaving me a comment. That way, if they see something that I can improve on, I'm all about that life. So I package it like this so it doesn't look like a bunch of like whatever and then I will close it now with a tape I'll do I'll just do another pass. All right. And then, see? It's not jiggling. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay. That's how it's supposed to be. Like, hang on. Another thing that I do, especially on the winter time, or I am actually going to be doing it more frequently now, is that I buy these little baggies right here. Well, not little, but these baggies and then they have adhesive right here I purchased this from Amazon um it was actually Mav 1107 that was the one that introduced me to this bag um and what it is though I put this one inside of this and I live in the Midwest so the purpose that I'm doing that is to protect the item from like getting wet so I just basically put it in there and then wrap it like I'm wrapping a present to the best of my ability. It is very, very tricky because this paper is designed to be a bag. But I'll show you guys what I do. So they have like that adhesive thing right there. So and you got to be careful because I just messed it up. To, like when you fold it you just try to fold it like so okay. and as you could um, I don't know if you could see but it's sort of like bubbling a little bit because it created some air pockets but what I do is that so this is basically like the end of it I think so you just try to wrap it as tidy as you can this is when you're gonna be using a lot of your tape whether you like it or not so see how like it's puffy like Try to get the air out as much as you can. Sometimes I cut the corners. Okay, so I just try to make it as tidy and tight as can be. So like I like like I said, like I'm wrapping a gift. So
can try to capture the corners as much as I could and my tape does not want to stick why I as much as you can and then do the same on the other side okay so oops sorry see how like this is untidy you don't want to give them a chance to rip it so I just put tape to make it tight because it has some air pockets so again just trying to protect it as best as you can to me is the trick so that it can have a chance to get to the buyer and this is what Mav 1107 actually showed me well not personally showed me nobody actually like gave me a tutorial about it the reason why the how I learned is that like I mentioned I was opening their package and I purchased from them and that's the difference between how I think some of my items did not make it to Detroit and some did. And it's consistent too. The ones that package very defensively are the ones that has better success. So this is ready to go. I just want to um, kind of like protect this part. So... I will do this, put a little bit of this, and then tuck it in, do the same thing over here. Yeah, you use, I use a lot of tape, but also some of the items, you know, you can try to save money. So that is item number one which is ready to go. Now we have our next item. Next item is this beast right over here. This is gonna take a little bit of like um, patience and creativity. So there are a lot of stuff that you need to protect right here. His wings, his tail, and then this thing. And so what I notice with sellers that I have sold, uh, bought from, they do this method. So they wrap that item separately. And then we're going to do the same with the wings and the tail. Um, the wings would be really tricky because of how it's, it is. I'm not even taping it because the idea is to protect it. So I'm just adding more cushion to it. Because it's already broken and whoever bought this, I want them to be able to enjoy it. Okay. So now we just have to protect two pieces or two um, entities that the, the, the other wing and then you can take this if you like but 
I'm gonna show you why I don't think it's necessary. Okay. And you can use whatever material you think is best. I'm gonna repeat it again. I am not an expert. Mm -hmm. Sorry. This is a method that I have learned um, from opening packages that I have bought. Because um, some people have amazed me on how they could package stuff. And then, you know, I, I really believe that it's just hit or miss. So that's that. And then the next thing is that we're going to wrap him again. So this is why I do not have to type um to um tape it because I'm wrapping him again. So how do I wrap him? As protected as possible. So that's one, and then I will wrap him again. But this time, this seam, I'm gonna put like so. I feel like I have to protect that base because that's already broken. So I'm gonna do it one more time. I need to do it. Or, I could also just wrap the base. And I'll do it like that. I just said, I'm a little bit more careful because he's already broken. I enjoyed it. I want the person that bought it for me, or who I'm gonna pass it along, to be able to enjoy it as well. Okay, so now that we're done with paper, we're going to protect him as much as we can with the um, bubble wrap. I like to put the cushiony side on him and just wrap him. And I just broke it. Nope, this guy. So before I do that, actually, I'm going to put the saran wrap on him to protect him. I'm just like really trying to like give him a little bit more structure at this point with this what I'm doing because he is a very fragile piece and already repaired and broken so okay so now that we have him like this as I was mentioning the part that has the bubble side would be the one that I'm going to try to like cover him with. So do it this way. Again, trying to protect that base and everything else. Okay. And then using this.
And when I'm doing it, I try to do it as tight as I could. Seams. And then try to come up on that angle again, trying to close the seams to cross over. And now I could do the sides to cross him out. But close it, covering it with that bubble wrap as much as possible. And I think the face. Okay, so now this is what he is. Okay, so now. We have to find a box to put him, and then we put that inside the box. So, I need a very sturdy box for this guy. So, I'm going to get this box right here that one of my orders came in as the first layer of additional protection for him. Not the shipping part. I'm just going to take that label, the shipping label, because they don't need to know about how I got that. And then discard that. And let me see if I can put him in here. Perfect. I can. However, it's just enough size. But what I like to do is just to be a little bit safe i'll probably cushion it right there and that's because hey guys so i put like the cushion right here like the two boxes underneath and i'm gonna put him here but you guys can see that he's peeking right here a part of him is peeking so i gotta be careful with that so and there's also a gap on the side so i have to fill those gaps with something so i will be back to grab some more of the fillers okay so these are some fillers that i got these came believe it or not from one of the packages that i received um they also wrap the stuff in these so but i'm just, just going to use it as fillers so i'm going to just crumble it up so it looks a bit more tidy perfect so then when they get it it's not bad and just trying to protect that dripping as much as possible so I just roll it into a bowl to kind of like keep it. And then this and then we will put this in another box 
you might say, why are you putting it in a box? You already put it in a box. It's because when this thing get bumped, it would protect it. Okay. Let me see if this one would fit it. Doubt it, but we shall see. It did fit it. Okay. So, just going to take that out. I lined it in because it has to be lined in. And I have to make sure that I also fill it in with, like, um, fillers. And I'll probably put, like, more cardboard box. So, I'm just going to take out the label. They use. Oop, not that. There was right here on top. Okay. So yeah, it kind of like helps if you can recycle because the shipping materials can be expensive. But if you are a big time seller and that is your um, stuff, I don't think it's a bad idea to invest on it because it's your brand. So go for it. All right. Just going to do this. And then making sure that there's no concern. Okay. So now I'm going to put my box. Now I have to work on the gaps. So I could put more of these right there. So I'll be back to find more of those. Okay, you guys, so I couldn't find any more of those, so I'm just going to use up this brown paper. That way, it's all more uniform. And again, we just wanted to make sure that our item does not move at all inside the box. Because that's the reason why it gets damaged, is that if it has the ability to be moving so two more and the reason why I chose this over that wrapping paper is because the wrapping paper kind of looks crappy so I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use that ever again because I know everybody is trying to save money that I'm doing too so all right so notice that this one is not going to jiggle anymore um i think that would be enough so now like before we have this like nice card same thing i'm just gonna put it like so and then i am going to put a tissue paper on the top just to look like presentable so when the buyer picks it up it would look like it's a happy meal gift and then I will seal that so it would look like that and I will seal this now with my tape So, this is where we're at, and probably gonna seal it one more time. This way, and also this way. And last but not the least, see that? I am going to wrap them. <coughs> Excuse me. With this beautiful Mav system. Not sponsored. Alright. So how do I do this? Same as I did. This is the top. So I would like to put it like so. And try to wrap it as neatly as possible. Okay. Keep in mind that there is adhesive right there. So how we're going to do it is best as we can 
to let's see if I've got any of that one. Um try the maybe do let's try that. I'm gonna type it on the inside. Type tape it as tight as I can. Get the flops. I should have not opened it, but this is like you as you go okay okay it's very sticky so I did that so now I'm gonna try to like as tight as I can Ugh. flip it on the other side like so all right so now we have this again we have these bubble pieces right over here but we're going to clean it up as much as we can. So we're going to start with the top. Okay. So do this. Oops, sorry guys. Alright, so, oops. There's no better angle in here. Come on now. Okay, alright. So just save this as I can so that it's flat and then the sides tuck it in and then pull the lip tape as tight as I can that will be me do the other side Start from the top lip, pull everything, and then my hand is also messed up. My thumb. All right, okay, and then same thing, tuck it, and then pull so it's tidy. this this is a concern so we need to tape that to make it flat and secure it and I'm just gonna round it because that really flattens out that piece all right and so this is it right here so this is another trick that is it that is our package that is how Abby C in the D pack um, and again, I thank all these like friends of mine that had um, been a good example in how I pack. Again, not um, not really an expert, but I think that um, I've never, I don't know if they haven't told me, but I've never had a um, problem with the package. And if they do, please let me know. And that is it, you guys. Thank you guys for joining. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye.